This story was sent to me by Craig Jarrett, and we have another one. It seems like now this is starting to become a trend. So in this picture, you see a man by the name of Thomas Matthew McVicker, and he is a, a truck driver out of Tennessee, or maybe he was just passing through Tennessee. And he said that he planned to shoot up a church. But I'm going to go ahead and read the article and wait till you hear the reasoning as to why he said he was going to do it. Like the ex amount of excuses that they will come up with is astounding. But this one right here takes the cake. A truck driver who threatened to shoot up a church in Memphis and said he was haunted by spiritual snakes and spiders. People put in his bed was arrested in Indiana less than a week before the day of the planned attacks. Authorities said in a newly filed court records, spiritual snakes and spiders. Though that, that was his reasoning. Allegedly. Thomas Matthew McVicker was arrested in Indianapolis on Friday, according to a criminal complaint unsealed this week. It's the most recent case in a string of men being arrested around the country for threatening to carry out shootings. McVicker, age 38, made credible threats to conduct a mass shooting and suicide plan for this coming Thursday, an FBI special agent said in a sworn affidavit. He was arrested in Indiana State by Indiana State Police and the FBI said Chris Bavender, a FBI spokeswoman in Indianapolis. Earlier this month, a friend of McVicker in Fairhope, Alabama, told a Florida FBI officer McVicker had been considering a mass shooting at a church or killing people on the street. Later in the telephone call, the friend said McVicker told her the church shooting would happen when he was in Memphis on Thursday and that he intended to take his knife and slit the pastor's throat. He may, This almost makes it seem like it's just almost like it's personal because I always said that when someone slits somebody's throat, that seems kind of personal. But I don't think he knew any of the people that he planned on shooting. His mother told the FBI McVicker owned a Ruger P90 handgun and sometimes uses cocaine and methamphetamine. So he's a meth head. She also said her son is being treated for schizophrenia. Here comes the mental illness card. McVicker told his Alabama friend evil entities entered his body and are torturing him. Why the hell is not he in a, in a damn asylum? The friend asked McVicker why he wanted to kill innocent people. He said they put spiritual snakes and spiders in my bed at night. The FBI, FBI agent wrote, I've only seen them a couple of times, but they take form and I can feel them crawling on me and under the and under me. This right here, he's playing that mental illness card all the way up. To try and make it to try and uh, skate off of this. But if they're going to do something like that, if they're going to say something like that and he wanted to go and shoot something up or shoot people up, then he needs to be locked away somewhere. if They're not going to put him in jail. He just can't be wandering free. And the fact that he's having these thoughts and he's a truck driver is even more scary. The FBI says it confirmed with McVicker's employees that he requested leave time Thursday and that he indicated in the request that he would spend the leave time in Memphis. The affidavit doesn't specify a motive, nor does it identify a specific Memphis church. McVicker's friend did not learn of an exact location from the phone call. However, McVicker insisted that something would happen when he was in Memphis. The Memphis Police Department was notified of the threat, which did not mention a specific church. Police spokesman Lewis Brownlee said Tuesday, Memphis police work regularly with state and federal authorities on these type of threats to stay ahead of the curve. After his arrest, McVicker was placed in the custody of the U.S. Marshal Service, said Gabe Guerrero, a spokesman for the federal agency in Indianapolis. Guerrero said he can't comment on which facility is holding McVicker. Earl Fisher, pastor at the Abyssinian Missionary Baptist Church in Memphis, said he will be reaching out to his congregation to tell them about the the threat and inform them that the church has security measures in place. It's tragic that we are in a climate that even in your house of worship in what is supposed to be a sacred and safe place, you have to take up measures that might include making sure that you have armed security in your sanctuary to make sure that your parishioners are safe. Well, they must have not known about what happened back in 2015 involving that devil Dylan Roof in which he went and took a, in which he actually did and carried out his plan that this guy planned on doing. 
After the initial tip, a task force officer in the FBI Tampa Division conducted much of the investigation, reaching out to McVicker's friend and mother, friend, mother and company, among other things the affidavit shows. The case supports our message that the FBI takes all tips from the public seriously and continually works with the federal, state and local law enforcement partners to keep our community safe. Tampa, Tampa FBI spokeswoman Andrea Apria said in an email. Court records in Alabama show McVicker received a ticket for driving a truck in an improper lane in Jefferson County, which includes Birmingham, in June of 2014. He was working for Swift Transportation of Gary, Indiana at the time, records show. McVicker failed to pay the fine until 13 months later after his driver's license was suspended. Court records list McVicker's address at Punta Gorda, Florida, but his Alabama friend told the FBI that McVicker lives in his semi. The records don't list a lawyer who could be reached for comment on Vicker's behalf. Spiritual snakes and spiders. That's a new one, everybody who's listening. I've never heard that one before. But if he really does have a issue, then he needs to not be free roaming the streets. And I'm still trying to figure out how in the hell he got a truck drive and drive with that mindset. But he can't be that damn crazy if he planned on going to shoot up this. Pl- hmm. Something just dawned on me right quick. If they could prove that this guy actually has a mental illness and he was going to go and shoot up this place, you know what they're going to do? They're going to use this as an excuse or as a reason as to why they can do where as to why they'll be able to easily throw the mental illness card on anybody who plans on shooting anything up. So say that this guy actually was successful with that. That means anybody who came after him, they can automatically say, oh, this person probably has a mental illness because look at this guy here. He actually did have a mental illness. And we're not just saying he had one. He actually did have schizophrenia. He said he saw spiritual snakes and spiders being put on him and crawling on him and everything like that. And the diagnosis came back and said this guy really had some issues. So why wouldn't they um, they take advantage of that? So in a way, I'm kind of glad his plan got foiled. But that won't stop them from claiming anybody else has a mental illness. Y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next one.